back to Castlevania. Order of Ecclesia. Let's jump right back into it. Free free camp. We are at 23.8% completion. As far as exploration is concerned. Hard mode is unsurprisingly hard. But welcomely. Welcomingly. Welcome. Hey. So. We last left off as we arrived at a mountain range that we must progress through. Full of our beloved friends, Medusa heads, and also flying boners. So, let us proceed and hopefully get through alive. Also, crows. Crows are not our friends, though. Where are we? Need to go down. Ow. The crow does a lot of damage. Unfortunate, but we will proceed. Unfortunately, not without a bit of damage, but hopefully that won't last too much longer. Taking damage thing won't last too much longer. I wish I could say that was the first time that happened, but sadly, that is not. Spiders as it is, so skills and spiders are right out. Skull spiders. We bypass him, and then we get to this lovely segment, which is surely something. Medusa heads and magnets. At least I can use weapons. But that's only moderately helpful. The main issue is aiming where I go with the magnets is not as easy as I would like. Surely, partly because I'm not actually on a 3DS, uh, Nintendo DS game console. We should be able to do it. I mean, we got across once. Not be too much of an issue. Would be a better way of putting it. I don't really need to kill the horse, but it is an enemy. If I want to. Wow, not only did the axe not kill him, but... Wonderful. Very wonderful. Moving right along. So you see what awaits for this segment, and it might take a hot minute, but we will get through, as we've done before. I want to get this crow that's down there. I wanted to get him without taking damage, but that does not seem like it's going to happen. Well, there we go. Minus 
just our lovely rock throwing friends. And we are almost back to the horrendous Medusa Head Magnet Hallway. Oh dear, I forgot to attempt to attack them. Oh my lord, these enemies are like truly awful. I don't even think it's a competition. I think those are my least favorite enemies in all of Castlevania already. They haven't even appeared that often, but every appearance has been horrible. Okay, we are past that. Now, what killed me when I got through? Probably just normal assortment of things that tend to do killing. Hi, bird. Oh my lord. Sure, he didn't help. Well, that does give us a teleport. Unfortunately, we do not have a matching teleport. But, that gives us a brief respite from which to hopefully more easily make our way down. Except now we are a bit low on health. Oh, low-fat milk, 2%, so not actually milk. Good to know. Anything else I can use to potentially heal? No. I love when they come from off screen. I mean, it's still the crow, but he went off screen, so I would have hoped that he just didn't exist. As is usually the case with things that go off screen. Alright, well. Back to heal that. There's got to be a better way to get down there without hitting the crow. But there's really no other place to jump down from. Can't jump on the bridge for some reason. Well, there truly is no better way. All unfortunate. She was facing the wrong way. We just need to get out of the room after this one without injuries and we should be fine. But it is always these segments of hallways, vertical or otherwise, with the endless enemies that tend to be quite annoying in Castlevania. You know, 
we're still fine, so I will take it. Barely fine, but we are. If I had hearts, I could potentially... make this a lot easier. But I don't have enough to use any special. Everything here, I think, will kill me in one hit. Yep. Not only everything will kill me in one hit, but that rock throwing golem is be poorly positioned for me to do safely. I maybe slide through the crow? Well, I can't slide, but I did manage to slip by him that time. Already doing better. A good sign. Always a good sign. That means we just need to not take needless damage from horse. Forget to kill that. Don't really want to waste hearts on him, but I don't want to be damaged by him. And with that, it's just the long Medusa hallway and then the horrible vertical line. I have to imagine that in normal mode, there just aren't Medusa heads in that hallway. It would seem weird to have nothing in there, but at the same time... I mean, I already know that a hard mode just adds enemies. see if that killed them. Luckily, somehow, I positioned myself in probably the pixel perfect way to not get attacked. Somehow. And I'm not going to complain about it. But, I'm going to complain about this next room. Again, it seems only natural. through. Yes, we did. And now that we are through, I think I might try to use the big axe power on the golem. I can get up there without an issue. I think I'm just going to run through him. 
or attempt to do so. That's at least my current plan. I don't know if it'll work. Actually, no. If I can make it work, so I can somehow get lucky for it to work again. What I think I will do, is I will attempt to juke these spiders again. Now I can save the hearts I have. And use two combination moves on the stone goal. Which will in turn give me a better opportunity to get through. Far so good. So uncharacteristically good, honestly. You know what horrors the game has planned for me. But it has allowed me to succeed thusly. Oh my lord, how did that not hit? It's a big lance. And I don't have enough hearts. That's fine. Not really, because this isn't where I want to go. Thank you. Uh, hmm, where am I? You're awake. Last thing I remember was a man walking in. Was that a dream? No, that was. Yeah, I don't want to know. Whatever's past is past, right? We go home. I've got work to do. What sort of work? I have jewelry. Her name's Laura. So that should give me an opportunity to buy accessories. Again, though, the, the problem is now I'm stuck on the other side. Yeah, that, that is the problem. I need... They have, like, all of my hearts to both get in and out of that room. I guess I'm gonna have to use the electricity. Yes, that did a lot of damage, but I got through with all my hearts. So that's what matters. At least I am assuming so. With that done, now it's just the lovely matter of uh, getting back there with hopefully taking no damage. Annihilating the golem somehow. Not once, but twice, because I, of course, would like to rescue that lady, for my benefit, yet again. But we will see how likely that is. the endlessly spawning enemies. Not only endlessly spawning, but randomly spawning from the side of the screen. I've never really liked that, even in the other games. But here, it's just particularly egregious, in my opinion. I wish I had 
any sort of glyph that could help me get through here. I could try to kill them the long way. It's just a bit on the slower side. But if it works, it works. I'm not entirely sure what I could have done differently in that situation, but suffice it to say, I don't like that hallway. Not at all. Now we are back to this. What other weapons do I have? Like, is there anything else that might be useful again? I don't think so, unfortunately. Seems that this is realistically the only thing I can do. Take that. That boosts attack, strength, intelligence. Decreases calm and defense, though. So I'm not entirely sure. But here, let me just go back here. Not take any risks. would have seen where it went. Well, 
Well, now that I've gone to Secret Room, you're surely my luck will improve. That's just how it works, right? Okay. It is written that now is the time to succeed. Well, that is part one of the traversal to be taken care of. Now we just need part two. I did take damage from a crow, but I don't even see how I could have really prevented that in the best of circumstances. Which, the very existence of this area, the worst of circumstances. No more Medusa heads. Um, I don't think I can get over there. Oh, dear lord, you've got to be kidding me. Why? No, I don't think that's Black Crow. That's Black Crow. Okay, well, all in all, that was a lot more successful than previous attempts. And now we're actually, I think, hopefully through the worst of it. Nothing's endlessly spawning, so that is always a good sign. Find a magic resist. Pass for now. But I will definitely take an MP. What are you? A cave troll? I will have to confront you head on, I guess. Though I really don't want to. I leveled up. At least this isn't so bad. What are you doing? Can you, how about you die instead? Ow. Whoa, that did so much damage. Are you kidding me? How much health does it have? Oh my lord, I'm not even gonna kill it. Yeah, that, that's good enough for me. That is more than enough for me. Good fucking bye to you. Hello, saving after getting through that nightmare. Now, I want to find the lady who said she has jewelry. It is not you. But do I have right. what I need for you? No, I do not. You weren't the jewelry radio, were you? You're the jewelry lady. Hi. You know, you're just like you're in mourning. Always have a finely shaped... Enough of that, thank you. Well, sorry if I'm out of line, but hear me out here. A little accessorizing would go a long way, don't you think? Accessorizing? You know, bring over a lapis lazuli and I'll show you what I mean. Light go with you. Well, I just so happen to have one. <sighs> Stone you found. Here. Let me work on it and I'll send it to the general store. You can try it later on, but you'll like what you see. Smile much? Maybe you should. It'd be lining up at your door. I do not smile, she says. Don't smile, that's odd. What do we do about that? I need a ruby, a sapphire, and an emerald. 
it to this dynamic now. I will smile without even knowing it. Light go with I think I'm missing a ruby. I'm pretty sure I have a sapphire and emerald. But what I do have, or want rather, is to buy accessory. If it's better. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Hey, you want to buy something? I sure would. Earring is shaped like four leaf clovers. I don't know. I will pass, I think. I really don't understand what this item display is for. I'm just gonna still leave my stuff there. And save now that I've interacted with her. And proceed on to Misty Forest Road. Sounds absolutely lovely. I know I'm excited. Okay, you guys do not take damage from lightning. Heck, you do not take much damage from anything. Ow. Okay. Okay, so that's how this is going to go. Excellent. how I'm going to deal with these enemies. I need to stop forgetting that I can get hearts at the village. Endless hearts, even. Which is all the better. Now with endless hearts... That was a lot of hearts to beat one grave digger. Mm, interesting sound you've got there. Are you kidding me? Another one? I just. Why does she do so little damage? I guess I'm supposed to use a different weapon or something. Access here. Can't get rid of these these guys first. Why is it playing very spooky music just because one ghost died? Okay. Why do you have more than one, sir? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Then just the normal haunted forest. Okay, I hate this enemy. I hate all of them so much. And another one, even. Even another one. One, two. Okay. So. Do I have like a bestiary or anything? Like. What is that stuff on the bottom? Like, what does that mean? Is that what they're weak against? I wish that there is literally any information at all on this page. it simply does not tell me what anything on there means. Oh, I still wish I didn't get kicked. That would have saved me some health. Oh, it's literally a term list. It doesn't at all. I was hoping that it would, like, show me what the symbols at the bottom of the screen mean. But no, of course it would not do that, because why would it do that? That doesn't make any sense. Considering everything resets when I leave the area, there's no point. 
doing that after I take damage. I feel like I definitely have the best gear I can have. Like, I didn't want to waste hearts. I uh, didn't say anything new from the shop. I mean, I can chuck again, I suppose. I'm pretty sure I have everything. Welcome. Hey, want to buy something? Yeah, like uh, there's not even a second headpiece to buy. Everything is lower defense. Come back again. Oh. I was out of range of that. Oh my lord. Can you teleport away like your friend does? Not. Why would he do that? Okay. Wonderful. Maybe I need to re equip the bow in one of my glitch slots. I will change it for uh, the electricity. Yeah, I'm hoping that does more damage to the big guy than the electricity does, which does pretty much nothing. does more damage, but I can't get hit by that spear. Even besides the fact that it pushes me back, I don't want to get hit because I don't want to take that much damage. Especially if only. Wow, uh, what can I only shoot one arrow? Like, you think it's that long to shoot an arrow that I can only shoot like one at a time? Me too. Uh. 
Well, not ideal still, but. A lot of these enemies are like so annoying specifically to fight like as her. I couldn't even see him throw it because I he was off screen. And then I can't get close to him because he does that. Very excellent. So I essentially have no clue how to get through this section. It's getting very, very lucky. Uh, hmm. What's the sickle look like again? That's definitely not going to be good against... Here. But perhaps this will more easily kill. Well, it technically does more damage, but it doesn't do enough, because if I hit them once, then they will definitely hit me, because they freak out and go really fast. So, it's not an ideal weapon still. Maybe... The only thing I can think of. Wow, it does no damage. Okay, excellent. shot them so it's not better. So, so far it seems it's the sickle that does the most damage. To at least the flying but flying skull butterflies. Fortunately, sickle is not a good weapon. Really not ideal to use because I want to hit them from a distance. Maybe Maybe it'll do more damage to the ghost. I doubt it, but maybe it will. It does more damage in the sense that the lance did two, and this does three. The axes also do two. So, kind of, technically. Okay, and now just to not die or take any more damage. You teleport away again, that'd be ideal. fucking slow with using weapons. I can't use a weapon and simultaneously dodge. Oh. 
unfortunately, there's gonna be another skull. Fly above me. Alright, now another another person who throws a spear. Okay. Oh. Another one of you. I think there's another guy with a spear in here, if I recall. Oh, no, I haven't been in here. That's a good sign. Uh, that's not a good sign. A powerful hammer glyph. Um, sure. Vol... Volmakir. Or surely Volmakir's gotta be, like, really good. Well, I mean, it almost one-shots them. It's definitely better. How about... Now go on. No, 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 no. Let's not go on with the horribly annoying bats. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. You... Bitch! Just want to find a save point. This isn't a save point. And somehow I doubt there's gonna be a save point over here. Please, move, ghost. I'm trying to get through. So we got no choice but to go this way. I really don't know what this is, and I don't like it already. With my amazing 56 health. And, like, no hearts. So I guess we're just gonna eat literally everything we have in my inventory. And hope that that's enough. Not. Almost. Certainly. But we can hope. Okay, can you stop? I can't. Oh. Oh yes, it worked. We did it. Dead. Nope. That's lovely. So now we got to get past the horrible two long sections again. if I get lucky enough for them to get hit three times. Granted, I recognize the fact that I'm in hard mode, but normal mode is definitely too easy, and this might be just a bit much. It's really just the enemy placement, honestly. I like everything except sometimes the enemy placement and pathing. I'm 
just gonna ignore the ghost. I think he won't be aggressive towards me if I ignore him. Fortunately. Oh, I missed him. We're all good. Okay. That strategy actually works fairly well. getting through without taking much damage this time. Or any, so far. And just a little bit of unorthodox strategy is all I needed. Which, compared to Symphony of the Night, anything that's not just walking up to it and spamming attack is unorthodox. <laughs> I don't know if I really want the hammer with though. Like, every weapon that I have currently equipped serves a purpose. The axes have really good range and verticality. The bow is obvious, and the lance is a good melee with reach. All are very, very nice and important. Plus, the axe power, or the lance power, is really good because. As we can just witness, it hit her twice. Right, I don't have the... Get out of here, ghost. What is your problem? Oh, are you, like, on to me? He is on to me. Um... Son of a bitch. I throw something, I'm physically incapable of moving for five seconds. Thank you, Shinoa. Very cool. We had nothing like does any meaningful amount of damage to ghosts. So this just unnecessarily takes a long time. Okay. That was really annoying. Oh wow, excellent. I got Sage. Just what I needed. Which brings us back to over here. So, that's not good, suffice to say. I think what we'll end up doing. Tempor temporarily swap out the bow for this, because I think that creating both of the heads at once power might be better. Ah, uh, 
it might have been better, but I'm out. I'm out. the intended way to deal with that was, but that is how I dealt with it. So, we're good, hopefully. And hopefully there is a nearby save. There's ghosts, which is far less ideal. What is this mystical wall that has power coming from it? I don't know. I guess we'll figure that out eventually. But that is most certainly not right now. Surely there's a save literally anywhere here. And of course... The delay that she just self-imposes before she can move after throwing something just feels so unnatural, so I never quite get used to it. Well, unfortunately, that ruined that, but here we go again. ghosts I can largely ignore. There's the skull I always hear. What? Oh my god, my controller. Oh, well, that ruins this entire attempt. I'm back in the village, I am going to see if there's anything I can buy that will give me more hearts, because I need hearts to deal with a lot of these enemies. And remember... Oh, hey, there's a chest I'd never got. What is it? You know, that's another mildly irritating thing about the menu here. Like... Nothing actually says what it does. Like... But why? Truly, but why? Welcome. Hey. Want to buy something? Yeah, uh, maybe. Do, you, do any of your items say what they do? No, not really. And anything that heals is ridiculously expensive. Only that heals less than a quarter of my health costs like an eighth of my money. Come back again. So I would not. I think that's really a good idea to do. Spending money on healing seems very pointless. Oh my lord, I didn't mean to... Did not want to aggro him. 
but that makes would make that section needlessly difficult. I it's a shame because I really liked the monastery and the prison island and the lighthouse boss. But the forest this horrible mountain and this other forest are really, really, really annoying areas, and I don't quite care for them. I just gotta carefully move forward. Really check the skull. That means we're good to go to the next area, where we have a lot more. Oh. These skulls are so annoying. I can scarce think of a more annoying enemy. At least at this moment. They, they're not even that annoying in other games, at least that I've seen. So I think I might only recall them from Symphony of the Night, to be fair. Yep, there's another one of you. And there should be one more spear thrower. Grave digger, if you will. We're good. For now. Great. Ten out of ten out of ten. Let's play cuteness. Holy shit. I don't even know why I had Magnet off of. Fine. I passed the ghost. Get this Sage that I don't actually think I need. And... Drink coffee. And milk, I guess, because I want to have 100% power for this. Oh man, if only they weren't doing that. to play around with the fact that to heal and proceed and hopefully hopefully find a save relatively soon don't remember if there was an enemy down here no there's a path though but it's not oh, I can't even jump across so I have to go through the path but what is in the path 
Yeah, why, why wouldn't it? Not only is there a stupid succubus, but... A werebat, even. Not a succubus. So good. So far, so good. Oh, thank the Lord of Castlevania. And now we've, we're going to the Bone Cave. Oh, whoa, whoa. I almost made the mistake of dying before I could save, so I don't have to go through the horrible misty mountains again. Misty forest. But now we saved. Now we can go back to Boner Central. They jump. How am I going to deal with this? We forgot to get hearts. Thankfully, load screens are non-existent because of how much I keep coming back to this village. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to assume the bow power is good, and hopefully it works. I mean, that could have been good, but why did it? Why couldn't it have just shot a big arrow forward? Oh, he kind of jumped over me. Oh my lord, and there's so many of them too. Fine, they don't do that much damage, and I'm in the perfect spot to not take damage. I can see it taking damage, I just wish I knew how much damage I was doing. Uh, surely, full Fulger. Can't tell. I don't want to get too much closer. Wow, unreal. Three. Okay. Three, and I also took all that damage. Well, on the bright side. The bow does more DPS, I feel, in this situation, except when there's multiple enemies. I'm sure I would do more damage with a weapon walking up to them, but I don't know if that would be safer. In fact, I'm almost positive it would not be safer. You know, I'm questioning if this is actually more DPS with the ball. It just feels like more. He also didn't take, like, any damage from the lightning because of the way it targeted. So he might be uh, just a little bit more damage. Can 
I reach him with the axe. The axe does one, so really, there is no point to walking up to him and hitting him. I'm, I'm guessing the hammer might be the only thing that does damage. I just want it to be done. I like to damage. But, considering Shinoa likes to be very laggy, as in, like, she herself is a slowpoke when it comes to weapon usage. I don't like using those, but these enemies just decided to, uh... I should have known, because that enemy does that same thing in every game that he's in. But... That's fine, because this actually does not seem like a bad area at all. I'm just definitely overly cautious, considering. And to be fair, I didn't... I did not expect these enemies to just harmlessly jump over me. But also, the hammer's actually really good for skeletons. It's really good, but not good enough to warrant doing that. So let that put in perspective how much health those have. That I hit them at least for over 100 damage when they were still up. I don't really want to do the whole shoot them for 10 hours thing, but... I don't think Shinoa can jump over them. Maybe she can? Like, I can't even safely get close enough to do anything. I also realized they didn't have hearts. Again. Again, I forget that I can just go over here and get hearts. Well, I'm definitely going to use something heart-wise to defeat the launchers. They are horrendously annoying. Excuse me, I seem to have the wrong weapon up. You would give me but a moment, Sir Skeleton. They very politely just do not. What? I hate how the secondary attack is a shorter range. And enemies often just stop right outside of it. Okay, so they have like almost 200 health. Poor reference. Excuse me, holy moly, sir. They are a lot more aggressive in this game, which means I'm also going to want to not mess with them outside of special attacks. Well, alrighty then. I don't have hope, considering I believe this is one of the more recent in you know, like real lifetime Castlevania games. But I was gonna say I really hope I come to a Castlevania game that like has 
auto saves or continues. Because this is horrendously annoying. Right? Especially. The most annoying thing, honestly, is indeed just having to change weapons every time. Again and again and again. I think that maybe. No, this is not what I was thinking of. Not Volt Fulger. Um. What, what, what is it? Luminash, Luminatio. Oh, it doesn't go far enough. anyone has any ideas to make this easier, boy would I take it. They have so much health. not too too long. Okay. So now he dodged under it. Okay. So he also has about 200 health, but also he actually just jumps all over the place and is way more annoying. Okay. Figure something else out. I don't think that's anything new. It is a powerful rapier glyph. But I don't think that's really something I care about right now. What I care about. these guys. Through a lot of electricity. Because that is literally the only way I can think of to not take damage here. In fact, I think it is the only way to not take damage here. It's not a ton of warp. Hey, 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 welcome, welcome. It's some more work than it should be, but at least I can jump over the single pretty easily. Oh, he turns. Great. How about you don't do that, sir? I think... Pretty much all of my hearts, but it was worth it. Well, this feels way more satisfying.
Okay. Now we're making some progress through the Bone Center. Oh, do I kind of finally one-shot these guys? Hell yeah. Oh, I was so scared of that, and then I realized that's not even that... ...that bad. Except getting a hit from behind is bad. I literally fought those guys in the tutorial. That is what you fight in the hard mode tutorial. Except, holy fuck, do I hate this room. I would like to pick that up for hearts, but I don't think I will be safe enough, but I'll try. What a horrible room this was. Oh my lord, how are we not done? How are we not done? What are you? Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do, because I have five health, and I really have, like, nothing with which to heal. We're just gonna very safely throw axes from up there. And pray that there is a safe location nearby. I mean, the enemies are cool, don't get me wrong. He drops hearts just like the other games. Secret wall. No. It looks like I missed the left somewhere up there, but honestly, I don't care enough to go back. But I feel I'm not gonna find safe. I just needed to see that screen for not even a full second to know that I hate it with all of my being. I don't have any means of healing. Like, what in the world? What in the world? Actually, what in the world? Okay. Save after I get the hearts. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back through those rooms, but now we know that it's just horrible. Absolutely horrible. Fine. I don't think I have anything that I can further upgrade with. I have sapphire, I have an emerald, I don't have silver ore, I don't have ruby. I don't have enough silk thread, so... I don't know if I saved, so I'm gonna double save. Make sure. Alright, back to a horrible bone land. They, if you simply don't move, they can't hit you. Which I'm most certainly a fan of. What I'm not a fan of is the fact that these things are definitely back. Because this is just annoying. And Shinoa does not jump high enough to really get through. But, I can't 
least we can kill them without taking any damage. Wish I could say with confidence the same about the next few groups of enemies. Actually, kill him with two special attacks now. How lovely. Good thing we went to save so we maintained our level. I guess that is always also a possibility. I could level up more. I do I am playing on the hard mode where you can only level up to 50. But for reference, I'm at like almost 30% map exploration, and I'm still only 14, so I don't even think that was an insane restriction. Considering it, the other limit is level 235, which that would never happen. Did I not open that? I didn't die since I was here. Interesting. What's not interesting is this room, because this room is god-awful. I will make it less god-awful by not having to actually fight these guys. Now, we're gonna go this way. Holy moly. It used my fucking magic, or my hearts, and didn't use the ability. Wonderful. I wasn't even able to appropriately re react to the, all the boners. Please be a save, dear lord. That's not a save. Oh my lord, this is the worst. Well, now I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I would love to see what's in either of those chests. But what I would love more than that is to find a save in this bone hell. This game is just a retelling of the Great Skeleton War. I just wish that there was some even mildly more efficient way to deal with this part that didn't take so long. I think I might just try to... Like... Yeah, there's really nothing to do except kill them. And if... It's not obvious by how fast they shoot. That's not going to happen. By trying to walk close to them. I know you're gonna stab. Now we are back to this. So, if we take a look at the minimap. Oh. 
We've gotta go down more, basically. Which is fine, but... It's still, like, clearly another long hallway of enemies, which is less than ideal. Shouldn't hopefully be too bad. Okay, there we go. Now I'll just do expertly and take like no damage, ideally. Not only did that miss, but it didn't even hit the guy. It hit neither of them. That was something very unfortunate. You know, I definitely don't regret my choice in difficulty, but I'm beginning to wonder if you were supposed to do like New Game Plus. But then again, I don't know if New Game Plus lets you do it on different difficulties. Usually New Game Plus is on the same difficulty, I thought. Well, at least in some games. I'm not entirely sure how it would be here. Great. I still took damage, even though I literally was doing this to avoid damage. The hammer has a giant handle, which misses, like, all the time. I want to get this chest, but... Okay, I need to, like, get down here. I think there's gonna be another one, if I'm mistaken. Okay. Now, then, of course, there's a big skull dragon. Pretty much nothing I have is helpful here. I don't know what the rotten meat does. I can't imagine it's good. Salt is okay, but now I have nothing. Wow, that does a lot of damage. If I could have gotten into that room without taking so much damage, that would have been a lot better. But... Well, you you saw what I just went through. I don't, I don't think I need to elaborate on that. However... I've definitely, definitely... beat way harder things in my time. We are gonna get through this. Honestly, it's like... This segment, in particular, is the most annoying part about dying right now. I'm not sure if they shoot slower on normal, or maybe they're just not even here on normal. But... At least on hard, these enemies do not provide any fun units 
for this game. At least in my opinion. But at least, despite not being interesting at all, they're not annoying if you can do, like, this, for example. The problem is, once we get back to where we were at the deepest level, there was that huge, huge wall of these guys. So I'm going to have to have, like, hammer power. I'm going to have to have hearts. Probably at least enough for two attacks. Which is not going to be easy, considering. Unreal. I hate the hammer. Like, I hate that it's the most effective weapon against skeletons, because as you just saw, its special really sucks, unless the enemy is at a very specific range away. I vastly prefer the lance. I honestly vastly prefer almost any other weapon at this point, but the hammer is what does the most damage to the skeletons. This chest is also different now. A blow ring. Which will somehow lower my defense even more. Except if I replace it, if I replace the Empress ring, it does not lower my defense. It lowers my strength a bit, but I would like to be alive, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. You know, honestly, I don't want to lose this ring, and I'm not confident that I'm just going to not die. So, you're going to save that we got that ring before trying again. Which will hopefully be pretty good. Do I have to leave and come back to save again? Why? Why? Don't understand. Minor thing. But it inspires such grand questions within me. I didn't want to take damage there, but alas. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to level up once more, or something. Because if we level up once more, we'll do even more damage, and hopefully get through a lot easier. Okay, so... I don't understand, like... As you can see, it animation cancels the hammer once I land. Which is already annoying. Like, that seems so unnecessary. But then if I attack when I land, I literally do not recover in time to jump. Very unfortunate. But at least... We are mostly past. We're mostly back to where we need to be. And we got another thing that I'll probably never use. Oh well. Wow, that is so fucking annoying. This whole room is so fucking annoying. Like, look at the way they spawn, and 
What are you supposed to do? If you don't have hearts in this hallway, honestly. Again, I'm still gonna go with I don't have any problem with the choosing to do hard mode. However, because I mean, I would definitely rather be challenged than not. Even with the challenge not dying properly. But still, touching on that, I really don't think it's a good game design to just throw not only more enemies, but the literal most annoying type of enemies into. I can't possibly imagine normal mode has the flying and randomly spawning skulls. I just cannot believe that. So, to save time, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to try to do. Whether this will work or not is a whole other matter entirely. We're going to... We are going to try to not even attack this guy. The tough guy is coming up. We are just going to run. I kind of want to kill these for experience, but not at the risk of being here for him. I was hitting the wrong button to do the attack, and that cost me damage. Very angry. Now... Okay, so long as I am at the max possible range and I'm ducking, I can't get hit by them. That makes dealing with them easier. When there's not 8,000 skeleton boners flying around at you. Obviously. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back with, like, double jump, aren't I? Oh. Oh. Hey, we leveled up. And we are successfully getting through this room without dying. Without taking damage. Is uh, what I more meant. But, you know, neither is incorrect. I need to be ready to... Oh, this isn't the room I was thinking of. The one after this is the room that I'm thinking of. Let me just make more unnecessary damage. Well, either way, we can survive, like, maybe two hits, at least one hit, and I'm hopefully, I mean, I've got enough, I've got enough hearts, I just need to hit them 
and kill them before they hit me more than once. Now whether that's possible or not is a whole nother matter entirely. Oh my lord, please. uncursed potions. If only I could get a normal potion, perhaps. Even some food would be ideal. But this useless garbage you're giving me is not. Okay. There we are. We're safe. They can't attack me. This is really what they put in this room. Like, you can see that on the... I can't actually put my finger over there, but on the left side of the screen. This is what they've done. What they've genuinely actually done in this room. Oh, I hope you know what time it is. I hope you know. And it's not a fun time. I'm glad I didn't run off, because that would have been insane. I've got to, like, be missing an item or something, right? That just makes me immune to their attacks, surely? Or stops time? Or just, like, hacks the game? Surely? Well, whatever the case may be, I pray that there's a save room soon. There's gotta be, surely. Surely. Oh, we're starting to kill some. Mostly two, because they take they have taken the most damage. I just gotta kill two more and then I could technically safely be on the left platform, but then there's all these ones on the right side of the screen. I would love to, you know, like, say, use a heart power to do a lot of damage to all of them, except I don't know where a save room is. So if there's not one immediately after this, that's very bad. But on the bright side, at least we can't die in this room unless we really do something stupid. don't even understand why. Like, just, but why? What could I possibly have to be using here, I wonder? If only I had holy water. 
but I don't believe that's in this game. At least I haven't seen it thus far. Almost. Almost indeed. I will say that my playing through this game makes me really want to watch a speedrun of hard mode. I'm really curious what it's done. Like, what could I be missing from this situation? The other major problem is everything does so much damage that if the next room isn't a save room, it's very possible I'll die and have to do this again. I'm obviously very much hoping that's not the case, but it is most certainly a real possibility. Should be almost done with them. Almost. Any day now. these two and then there should only be two on the left side as well which will thankfully both take damage at once okay. I'm hoping yeah only those two over there that once he's dead, we turn to them, and once they're dead, we are good. Hopefully for the rest of Bone Cave. But I doubt that. More realistically, hopefully, until... Save room. Thank the Lord. More MP, which, I mean, I'll take, but I would love a life up right about now. Oh man, would I love a life up. Oh my Lord. So I don't even have time to, like, react at all. Any of this. There's a fucking T-Rex on the other side of here. Lord knows what else is past him. Yeah. Yeah. So... That is this- that is a good summary of this area we're going through right now.
and there's nothing new I can buy from the shop. Oh, there you are. I don't have his stupid stuff to get new items. I don't have her stupid stuff to get new armor. Or his, or the blacksmith stuff for the same thing. I really wasn't expecting to have a game that I have to grind in. Like, does anything even drop what I need? There's two enemies that drop question mark, but they're pretty low level. So, Lord knows if they even drop what I need. And everything else is like in the absolutely horrible area. The other absolutely horrible area. So. I've killed three bosses so far. Again, the problem is, here we are, about to go through this again, but the sheer time that is wasted on the skulls that shoot fire. And I will need to kill them all again because the MP max is in that chest. I won't bother going to the room on the left because I don't have double jump, which I apparently need. Like, is there really nowhere else I can go and explore? I don't have double jump, so I definitely can't explore here. There's like one locale that I need to double jump for. One room I still don't know what to do in. Um, and the forest sucks. It's just three horrible long hallways. The boat room, not interesting. I've already seen pretty much everything there is to do there. Oh, it looks like there's one possible place I didn't explore. Possibly. I need a break from the bone room. Like, even if it leads to literally nothing, that would be better than going to the bone room right now. But we're just gonna go back to that. How little damage things that aren't skeletons take it's from fucking uh where is the lance there it is from hammer and they don't take a ton from the lance but they take well the fish takes more from the hammer but the mer people do not And I think I'm back. I don't know why OBS decided to disconnect. Let me just send a message in case my audio did not connect back. Well, that's gonna be really annoying. Thank you, OBS, for just being supremely annoying. Regardless.
Alright. Get out of here. Holy moly. I forgot how much I hate those amoebas. there's a secret room, because otherwise all I did was go up to the previous area. I mean, the heart max-up is nice. I wanted a life max-up, because I definitely need more of that more than anything. there's a way up. No, I see there's a way to the right, but again, I would need a double jump for that, which I do not have. Yeah, great job, stream elements. You're a bit late on that message. Although, again, fortunately, I wish Twitch was smarter, because that is obscenely annoying when OBS disconnects, because now I'll have to download both videos just to re reconnect them again, or to combine them. I really don't want to, but... I'm gonna try to go back to the forest. I remember there being a double jump I couldn't get to, but maybe I can get to that bottom right. No, I don't think I can, because I don't know what to do with it. And there's these annoying enemies that just ruin my entire mood. And I need a boat clip. Please. I don't want to deal with you. Let's play, cute little kitty. Or not to deal with either of you. 
What am I missing? I'm missing a singular relic. But surely... Has to be double jump. But then I don't know what to do here. I can try killing the ghosts, I guess. Worth a shot, I suppose. Only, like, the ghosts were less annoying to fight. I can try using the light, I suppose. Remember what it was called. Luminatio. That actually does damage. Thankfully. Is there only one ghost in this room? I think there was. But again, that doesn't really help me. Nothing really helps me here, honestly. It's very unfortunate. Like, the light changes. secondary lift, but all I really have are two buffs, and like the actually good magnet thing. Either of which seem particularly helpful here. Unfortunately, it seems that Oh wow, I replaced the hammer, which I definitely will need. Wow, it doesn't even kill them in two hits, in one hit. not too, her too horrible. Fortunately, again, that leaves me in no better of a spot than I previously was. I am just going to have to get all the way through with, the, with as much health as possible, and waste a lot of time killing it. the, uh, the turrets. Because I've got no other options. The options have been tried. I can try to see if this makes this do more damage? even worth the using. But you would think that it's a buff to do more magic damage, but I think it might just be defense based. It does last a while at least.
Well, either way. Either way, we should be good. Oh, leave me alone, sir. Why did I jump? I wanted to, like, attack them. That was not a good idea. Still got two rooms to get through. I got another level up at least. buff actually lasts seemingly forever. Maybe I should equip both of them. This axe. Fortis Fighters Field. No way. Hearts. A fair amount of them at that. And on the bright side to it, at least we technically, well, we have enough to do three uh, powerful moves, I believe. I think it's 15 hearts with a strong hammer as well. Which would mean we could build the first T-Rex without it being a threat and do a lot of damage to the first one without it being a threat. Means hopefully we'll be able to kill it without it doing any damage. Whether we'll be able to do that or not, well, we'll see. We are almost done with these enemies, kind of. Not really. Let's 
soon. Ish. But hey, this oil has more NP. Oh boy. Once we succeed here, we won't have to do it again. Once we like get to a save point within the bone tower, then we'll pretty much be done with everything above here, except for when we get double jump. Why I didn't go back to the room with the left of the bone dragon? Because I still need double jump to get my chests in there. Hopefully, we'll find something very valuable in that chest, like a life up. But we shall see, won't we? Someday. All these skulls are destroyed. There's not more, not many more. Not much more to deal with in this room. We got a tower to the left, but at least it's only one wide. This one will go significantly faster, and the tower should be pretty fast as well. One final tower, hopefully. Tower of Pillars. They are called Bone Pillars, each individual one. But it's truly a Tower of Pillars. Made of bone. Oh, look at that, there's already two destroyed. Surely.
Four more. Make that three more. He's destroyed, I should be able to get a lot closer. Finish the other off with a hammer. Now with dinosaurs. Oh, I don't have enough. Oh my lord. save. Everything is right with the world. It's fine. Like, not even afraid of this thing. Not after what I dealt with. I don't even care. Although that was a fucking lot of damage. Holy moly. It's fine. Cause we're still in the skeleton cave and we're right by the boss. So I don't even care about dying. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I mean, I kind of see. Why can't I destroy those? I'm really just gonna have to avoid them? Forever? However long this boss fight lasts? Okie okay. I was expecting it to do the sonar thing, which it did not do. Couldn't even stand up. Excellent. I mean, boss design definitely cool. Actually, fighting the boss, well. Let's give it another attempt. Bouncing things that I apparently can't destroy or remove from the fight. Oh, you can destroy them. I just unluckily haven't been hitting them literally at all. 
Am I wild attacking? Somehow. Okay, so... Let's see. Come on, you're telling me I somehow did not hit that bouncing skull. Man, I wish that there was a different weapon. I wish the light was good against all undead, but no, hammer for skeletons. This is a skeleton. Because the range on it is not ideal for this boss fight, relative to pretty much any other weapon I could be using, when you think about it. We're gonna save after that. And now we will head to the left. Hello. Let that man go, Aldous. As you wish, my dear. I was just finishing up, so he's all yours. Why involve the villagers? This doesn't concern them. Doesn't it? We're not, dear Shinoa. Everything will make sense when my plan is complete. You say so. Fine, Ali. Thank you. It's so kind of you to save me. Did you do anything strange? Where are the others? He drew some of my blood and chanted a few words. As for the others, I heard him say he was going to the village. I'm worried. The village again? What is Aldous trying to do? Oh. But I have double jump now, so I can... Wow. This is like, look at how much damage they do. use the ticket, but I really need to... Uh, I, there's just one area that I know of that I have to explore. I don't know if there's hidden rooms. But, you know. So I can just bypass everything in here, which is definitely what I'm going to do. Except I literally can't get in front of the pillars. Okay. So... Riddle me this. What do? What? What is the? 
developer intended way to deal with that pillar in hard mode. I'm quite curious. Because if it's not... Just not do anything, I don't know. Like, I can't even do enough damage to kill them. Okay, well, whatever. I guess I won't be going over there again. That doesn't really help at all. And even though it's extremely stupid, I'm going to use a ticket to get out of here. You must help us that a man has returned. Tell me what is done. I was thinking of chills me. It chills my. It chills me soul. It's a device that takes some of our blood. You be the monster whispered of in legend? Dracula. I don't understand, why would he need blood? There's an old mansion beyond the cove. It may have taken residence there. Oh lord, what horrors might this demon be planning for us? I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't care. I got way more important things to do now that I've got the power of double jump. Start with Boneland, because I want that chest. Oh yeah, well that that is a jape. Putting that there as if that's a viable means to bypass those guys. There's apparently no bypassing them. Hello, hello! Welcome back, Sir Andy. Oh man, I you tuned in at the perfect time to tune in after the absolute hell that was me getting through this. I'm only here because I need a double I need a chest that I saw I can get with double jump. Well I guess two. Oh my lord. These things. These fucking things. I hate them so much. Like, I don't even know how you're supposed to fight them normally. For being on hard mode, Yes, I, I've done a lot of progress, but most of my playthrough of this has been dying. Which... I mean, yes, I chose hard mode, and I definitely don't regret it, but again, my expectation with Castlevania hard mode was a bit different from Harmony of Dissonance. This is just like... I swear... That they just through triple the amount of enemies in some areas. Like, okay, this guy's not so bad because I can just run away. He's really annoying to fight, that's fine. Uh, this hallway's not bad. Oh, I kinda want that chest. Nope, I don't want it anymore. This hallway is just, what the actual fuck.
I mean, I know what to do now, which means have like a million hearts, but... And then, on the minimap, like, the bottom-most area all the way to the right has, if I am doing my math right, at least over 20 of the bone pillars that shoot fire, facing both directions. So that's fun. I, I really like this game, but there's a lot of problems I have with this game design. At least on hard mode, which again... Yeah. I'm... Only level 16? I'm not sure if you're supposed to grind on hard mode, or if I was supposed to do New Game Plus, which I obviously didn't, since this is my first time, but... I'm surprised I'm still at only 30%. That was probably the worst area of, uh, the worst... I want to say it was the worst stage for me so far. But honestly, like, everything after the lighthouse is just awful. The boat, not so much. This? Yeah. The mountain was horrible. The spooky woods was, for <laughs> was horrible. I mean, I'm sure it's way better on normal mode, but uh, normal mode, at least from the little bit I played, was... Like, I just thought, oh, well. I don't want it to be like Symphony, where I can just run at everything and attack. But... Then we have this. Which is what it is. At least... Yeah, I just wish I didn't have to download a save file to unlock it. It's a minor inconvenience, but... Easily bypassable. Ow. Ow. Okay. Now I need to get to the one chest I've been missing from here. Well, let me take the teleport. I don't have to deal with bats. Well... Yeah, I mean... I, I don't even know, honestly. Like... Uh, The, the developer can think all they want, that the player should play it on normal first, but the reality is a lot of people just want to have the harder experience first. There's a few other games I can think of that do that, which I really don't understand. I think there was a GameCube or Wii Fire Emblem that did that, which was annoying. And... Thankfully, it's not most games. Except it's been most Castlevania games. I'm trying to remember where the chest is that I need. Well, I don't think that's the chest I need, but I'm gonna open that anyway. this and it's probably just gonna be like a piece of chicken. Oh yeah. Well that was a great game. I need to eventually replay it so I can do it in the hard mode. But I definitely didn't. But it was definitely it definitely deserves a replay. Oh boy, a ring. The 
full ring. Ring of the Fool. Oh yeah, that is the best ring I've ever seen. I'm very, very glad I came here for that. I mean, I know it raises my luck, but I'm I'm already playing this game. I think that's I don't need. I'm not gonna be lucky. Do you know what I can do here? This room has been bothering me since the beginning of the game. Unless I just don't have what I need. Also, like, the fact that there's a lot of items that don't say what they need. Like, low-fat milk. 2%. Firstly, that's a lie. That's water pretending to be milk. But also, that doesn't tell me what it does. I'm pretty sure it restores hearts, but... Okay, well that's fine. I can come back to that. That's the only thing I remember offhand. But if there's still more powers to get, then I will just proceed. And hope that nothing is going to utterly annihilate me. Though I'm pretty used to that. Okay, well, it is time to not have the hammer anymore. Maybe this will do more damage. What are you? And I only do one damage to it, even better. But it went away without a problem, so that's fine. We're just gonna pretend nothing happened. Oh, jeez. I could. Yep, I got poisoned. Well, the fact that I've gotten past one room without dying already means this is a better area. enemies are fine. Don't mind them. Okay. Well, I don't know about you. Are you what poisoned me? I think you are. so good. I don't want to jinx it or anything, but... Oh. Excuse me, ma'am. Silver ore. Only a few more of that. Oh my lord, you've got to be kidding me. You have got... This bow glyph fires diagonally. Wowee. I'm sure that because he gave it to me, right here, that this won't only do like two damage to these enemies, surely. Wow. It fires diagonally, but also in the wrong direction. Never mind. Never mind. 
Okay. Well. We are mostly fine still. good music though. I not deny that about this game. Oh god. Oh my lord, please no. Okay. This this is this is a great hallway, I can already tell. Ah. Uh... Well, let's play the what does more damage them game. Oh, not that. Wait, wrong, wrong button. Would it be electricity? Technically, yes. save room so I want to at least verify that up is not one so I guess we're doing this again or we would be doing that if I could like attack in midair Now it only does one damage. Wait, am I poisoned? Or cursed? Oh my lord. Oh, that's not a save room. Save room will always be in the last possible place for me to look. Not to mention just the general problem of. Oh, okay. With that, we got lightning, and we got axe. That's all we need. That's the winning team of weapon rights. Okay, goodbye, sir. I will not see you again. not at all a bad trip back. Oh, 
Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. More silk thread. I kind of wish it was the silver. Instead, I want that kind of armor. Glass. Oh boy, more chamomile, which I definitely do not need. There's... oh, there is something down there. God damn it. We are just going to commit to a direction from this next room. I believe we shall commit. Down here, because I could bypass them easily enough. What are you? No, we're not gonna even find an answer to that question. We're just gonna leave. Just gonna leave. Well, not exactly a save room, but if I need to save, I can at least get back easier. Hoping that I don't need to save. Saint Elmo? What? I'm sorry, who are you again? Is this. Is this a, a Sesame Street crossover? That, that ominous. Slightly sensual sighing is throwing me off. But we found the save room. We found a boss room. We're good. Ow. Okay, that might have hurt a little bit. Oh, she didn't hit me. She used water. That's what she did. Okay, that's fine. We just don't get hit by that, and it'll be fine. I mean, I like the bosses in this game, generally speaking. I just need to be more careful and also figure out how to dodge that. I'm a lot more fine with dying to the bosses. Although, a lot of attacks do a lot more damage than I would have initially thought. 
Well, the main problem with a lot of attacks doing a lot of damage for me is the delay in movement. Like, I'm gonna hold down the right button, and it just see how long it takes her to start moving once she attacks. That is the main problem I have with how much damage everything does, because it makes dodging a lot harder than it has to be. Oh my... I, I should have seen that that would happen. I just wanted to hit her while I was dodging. But alas... That was not meant to be. That move specifically doesn't have a lot of reaction time to it. I mean, I might just have to eat it. Because I can get hit by it twice. I mean, if she just does the other attack... It would be fine. This is making me dread attempting to do boss rush, though. That's for damn sure. hoping to kill her before she did anything else. Probably almost, maybe. There we go. Yeah. Not too bad at all. I definitely like her more than the, this floating skull worm boss, because I actually did not figure out how to do him properly. I somehow managed to, like... I guess bug him, because I just kept jumping, and then he only did one move, which couldn't hit me where I was. Ow. I want to not get hit by that long thing, but... Ah, uh, good enough.
Though are these Sesame Street characters the ones making that noise, I'm assuming? It's the only constant I've noticed. Yay, HP max. I always need that. I don't need you, though. I pray there's not a hidden room anywhere in this level. I'm sure there is. But it would be annoying to find. Silver ore. Yeah, that, that's not happening. I just need to kill one of them so I can get through here. They don't have much help. You could imagine how long it took me to get through the bone pillar mayhem, because the only move I could think of to use was the unlimited power move. I, I'd be very interested to see a speedrun of this game on hard mode. Without any new game plus, if that's even a thing for hard mode. Boy, a child, my favorite. Oh, phew. Thanks, lady. My name's Serge. It can't be Sergey because there's no I. Should I walk you home? Nah, I'm not a little kid anymore. I can get home by myself. Sure you can. You know, never mind, like, the fact that literally all of these things exist. I'm sure you can get home on your own. Which definitely confirms they're not a little kid, but some sort of demon. As all little kids actually are anyway, but that's besides the point. Oh, this is gonna be my least favorite power-up to grab. A powerful axe cliff. Well... That does sound pretty nice, because I regularly use Axe. I will gladly take that. There was one area I didn't explore, but I will worry about that later. Mom and sis still haven't come home. They're okay, right? Sure, kid. I'm sure your demon family is just fine. Uh... I need to enter and relieve because the save machine broke. O only one use, then the repairman has to come out. Giant's dwelling. Well, I certainly know what I'm gonna find here. What a surprise. Oh, these things. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna make a quick trip back to town. Quick swim, walk through various areas, and then all the way back. <laughs> I try. I'm like 
very socially awkward IRL, so I was ne I'm never sure if my commentary is actually edited or subtracted from streaming, but I'm glad to see it has an effect. I need hammer. of the one boss, so he's not too bad. I had a feeling I was gonna fight him, because back in the, the layer of the boners, I after you rescued the guy, I went back into that room and that enemy was there randomly. Which confused me, but I'm very afraid of this enemy. I'm not sure what to do. Well, not get hit by that would probably be a first thing. Definitely not a hammer. Okay, that's not so bad. That is literally a robot. Automaton ZX26, okay. Dracula is getting a bit ahead of his time. Ah. Uh, lightning works against robots, right? Surely? Who are you? Miss Murder. Dracula is very creative with his demon summoning. A lot of cool new enemies in this game, though. Caprine. Caprisum? At least, finally, a very, well, well, I was gonna say late game, but I don't even think that's true, but, uh, an advanced area where the save room is actually easy to find. I will gladly take that. I'm not your beloved, so I'm just gonna leave. Oh dear. We're just gonna keep on going. Oh dear. This is a horrible, horrible room. Though, ironically, this is still, like, so much better than, like, so many areas I've been. Yeah, I've gotta remember to fight this guy like the boss. I need to bait him into kicking me. Maybe? Or he'll just get stuck? And, uh, that's also good. I will gladly take that. Oh dear. Angry cat ladies. Almost. No idea where I'm going, but I almost got there.
I'm just a, a simple man trying to make his way through the galaxy. Wherever that might take me. Oh, are we done already? Oh, well, that's rather disappointing, isn't it? Disappointing? You're not that rascal from before. Your voice is different. You're like a doll. Pretty, but there's something missing. Hey, is the man not coming? I promised him a cake. Oh, well, tell him I'll be waiting. Oh, yes, I'm Daniela. Nice name, isn't it? Aunt Michelle gave it to me. Oh, my go. Don't worry. Old Dracula himself won't bother with blood this stale. Okay, crazy old lady. You just... Be on your way. That room... I'm sure it is a nightmare room, but compared to what I've been through, that room just had the initial impression of being very tame. Like, the bone zone was so horrible that I'm probably not going to be as annoyed by anything else in this game. I hope. So that was the way I went before. But I'm kind of curious to what might be up there. But am I curious enough? Maybe. Damn it. Okay, I need to kill her first. Based on all these enemies, I really think that Dracula really, all he really wants in life is a harem. I mean, just discounting undead since they're technically neither. Just like, look at how many enemies are female versus male. I'm just saying, it adds up. level up. I don't even think I'm going to hit the level 50 limit in this game. Yeah, I don't level up that fast. Oh dear. Excuse me, ma'am. No 
problemo. Well, apparently not, because we actually managed to get to the boss. This has been a fine, a fine area. We will see if this is a fine boss. Very interesting. So, that is not how you dodge that move. I believe I can say with some degree of certainty. Okay, so... Okay, okay. Oh, excuse me, sir. That's very rude. That is a lot of debris. I stood too close. His radioactive pants just annihilated her skin cells. I mean, how else did he create this abomination? That is not the attack I wanted equipped. to wait for that to go away. Oh, I'm out of hearts. No wonder I keep not doing anything. Because I keep trying to, uh, use the heart move. And then it doesn't happen. Not too bad. I just gotta stop getting caught by his feet and his very, very dangerous pants. And I gotta stop having that weapon equipped. What I really would like is a better version of the lance, because that melee weapon I enjoy, because it has a lot of range. I keep getting way too close to enemies with everything else. But just a little bit of being careful and we should be fine.
That was the most anime attack move I've seen in this game yet. And definitely not what I expected from this giant Frankenstein abomination. Is his name Goliath? Okay, Goliath. Clearly sliding is not always the answer. I need... I will... That should be good for the ceiling. Okay, we got this. No problemo. switch fast enough, but... That's it. At least I don't see an obvious way to dodge that, so I will elect to not be far away from him at any point. I like how any start can fast forward through the sound effects, but not the actual scene. Somehow. I didn't even see he was charging that up. It's fine. I might have to use the light move. That might clear up enough of the ceiling. The axes sure don't. There's definitely not enough room, seemingly, to dodge all of the particles. Also, well, that move sucks. It, it doesn't do enough, and it doesn't do enough quickly enough. I... will have to just hope that I get lucky with the RNG of the falling wood. I technically can, but there's the risk of him running at me, I feel. Oh, he can just decide to run at me no matter what. Well, that's not ideal. Now I'm 
starting to be annoyed at how little time there is between some of his attacks. Uh, less than ideal. I legitimately am confused by that move. Like, I don't see what they want me to do. Honestly, I don't see what they want me to do with either that or the, the ceiling. The ceiling seems a bit kind of awful with RNG. have to take the hit and walk through them. Because there's a way to get through them without taking damage. Oh, well, this, this is lovely. To be fair, I could not have possibly known that's what was going to happen. Alright. Mr. Goliath. Your time is done. gonna do the run. Oh, you can! Get fucked, sir. Well, now that I know I can dodge the run, I will definitely elect to move further away. Because there's an unfortunate lack of wind-up time between some of his attacks. That, that I still will complain about, but... I am not going to complain about that other move now, that it is clearly avoidable. didn't really have the option to run farther because I would have gotten hit by wood. If I didn't see the, you know, the off-screen attack, that's always nice. Thought he was going to keep moving, but I will take somehow not being hit by that. Oh, 
do it. Still don't like that move. The ceiling is way too up to RNG for me to enjoy it as a move. For me to find it a good move to his boss repertoire. If they were slightly more sparse. Oh, if they were slightly more sparse, then it wouldn't even be as bad for his wind up on attacks to be so close together. Because I'd at least have the ability to get to the other side of the room. I mean, I like the boss overall, but that is still kind of irritating. So good. Oh boy. I dodged too close to his smelly shoe. Most excellent. Didn't level up from it, but most excellent. Huh? Nah. Complaints with the ceiling move aside, he still is a good boss. You seem to be feeling better. Impressive work, finding me and all. Blind man could have found you. You left a trail. Just like when we were children playing tag. Once you started crying, I had to feel terrible and let you win. What are you getting at? Why not try it now and perhaps I'll let you catch me? By crying, you know I can't. I don't remember any of that. Apologies, Shinoa, but no tears, no deal. Still, it'd be a shame to leave you empty-handed. <laughs> I've suspected for a while now that there's more, like, he's not going to end up being the villain. I have a feeling. Ben, what are you doing? Oh, just accept it. It's a gift. Besides, it's what you came here for. One piece of dumbness unleashes a cluster of energy. Shinoa, do you know what the dumbness is? The ultimate cliff, of course, the one that can destroy a Dracula. Off right. 
But think about it, where does a Gliss power come from? Nothing comes from nothing, after all. What do you suppose Barlow used to create his precious Dominus? What? He used Dracula, Genoa. Dominus is made from his remains. That's his power, and nothing less. And this is... can't be true. Ask the old man if you think I'm lying. And be quick about it, I'm very nearly done with all this. Master Barlow, is Albus telling the truth? I have to find out. That would do a good job of explaining. Like, I've got one piece of it. And it hurts me when I use it, so I've never used it past seeing what it does. So that would be a decent job of explaining that. Which makes me wonder if Barlow is actually the enemy. I'm not sure. A lot of unknowns. Where's that old lady? I don't know if she'll actually have anything, but... Oh, not the old lady. The melody isn't coming to me. Time is impeccable, for I've just composed an ode to terror, and now I shall record it for all time upon this. My friend's phonograph. I lend your ears as I play upon this... This... Broken violin that I forgot was broken. Oh, damn it all. Would you kindly procure me some horse hair that I might make Good a new day. bow? I don't think I have any. Oh, the I do not. I think I only need three villagers as well. My, my. Oh, you came. I'm so happy. I was about to bake a cake. Make yourself at home. Thank you, but I... My grandfather and I would always bake together. That man loves sweets, especially in the middle of a good old-fashioned monster hunt. Monster hunt. Mm. Nothing better than the view from atop the lighthouse after an epic battle. I'd love to see that horizon again. Hey, you do draw. Draw? You don't mean from the lighthouse. I'll give you a sketchbook when you get to the top. Draw the view for me. There's still time until the cake is done baking. Come back then. I mean... Oh... Okay. I don't think I have the silk thread. Nope. Silver? I do have the silver. Good, good. We'll see what I can make with these. Check Jacob's store later, and here's your payment for the materials. Father Nikolai saved my life way back when. I asked him how to pay that debt, and he just said, do what you can. So here I am, just doing what I can where I am with what I have. You do what you can too, and if you're under trouble again, come see good me. Steel. Right. Uh, do you have anything else for me? Gold ore. I don't think I have gold ore. No, but I am going to buy good armor. Or what I hope is good armor. Welcome. Hey, you want to buy something? Oh, I got a cool hat. Well, there's that. Silver plate. And... Silver leggings. Come back again! Now I can stop being a, bu a babushka and become a knight with a crocheted hat. Excellent. Debatably an improvement, but, well, debatably an improvement in terms of fashion cohesion, but at least it's an improvement in defense. Where is old man Barlow? I wish to ask him a question. Actually, I think he's up on the top right.
so now you've heard the truth of Dominus. Then it's true. Ah, oh, god damn it. Get my A button pressed twice, but regardless, blah blah blah. Talking about the Belmonts. Their holy whip held Dracula at bay until as time marched on, they disappeared. The whip lost, and then created other tools, such as this Ecclesia controls. Constant hidden struggle around the world, we proved Ecclesia's metal to mankind. So in secret, certain men of power then placed a certain object in our care. That being the vessel for the soul of Dracula, securely sealed in this very room. If we destroy it, mankind's wish comes true. That is our purpose, ordained by God. But there remains one technicality. Against that vessel, our glyphs came to naught. Ours failed to scratch it even once. If those in power knew, they'd take it back. Ecclesia would vanish overnight. So I sought out a glyph of greater power, one strong enough to topple Dracula. So the answer came, fight fire with fire. Can't mean. Indeed, the power of Dracula himself. Converting it was difficult, of course, but finally we made his power ours. Power of ultimate destruction, Dominus. Yes, ultimate destruction, but no less could ever rid the world of Dracula. If only we'd been wise enough to see who else among us might make use of it. I fear we have unleashed a deadly threat. Hope it still has the final piece. You must believe it's for some greater good. But I'll take the Lord's plan over his. If you're forced to choose, you know what's right. You, sir. Well, I do know that his plan is most certainly not going to work. Even if I didn't know, there were more Castlevania games after this one. It just does not sound like it's going to work. So, we are going to go to Tristus Pass. We will draw the lighthouse later, mostly because I just only now remembered it about it. Teleporter. Always a fan of those. Not a fan of this enemy shooting his spores everywhere. Hello, lizard man. Literally is a lizard man. But not too threatening. I have killed so many lizards across so many Zelda games, I fear none. Instead, I shall surprisingly make a lot of progress to this area without dying. Oh, hello, giant skeleton. I remember you. Do you remember me? I dare you to kick me. I did not mean to jump into him twice, but that's fine. We leveled up about it. Oh! I did not even notice the chest. Well, that's a first for Castlevania. I w was most certainly not expecting that, but that was pretty cool. What's not cool is seeing all these chests that I can't get. Very sad. But I'm sure I'll be able to get them when I get to the end of this waterfall, maybe? Oh my lord. Maybe? Great pillars of ice. Oh, I see.
Well, yes. I was kind of correct. Is that not one of these? No, it's not. It is... Great Pillars of Ice. Okie dokie. Oh dear lord. You know what, now I'm afraid to open that chest. But thankfully it was for naught, because it was actually a real chest. Oh my lord, I can't get back up, can I? Oh, thankfully I can. The Lover's Ring. Which will increase attack and strength. Yeah, that's good enough. There's another silver that I don't need. just yet. Now we're ready to deal with what I am already afraid of is going to be a horrible room. Oh yeah. This is going to suck. I've already dealt with a room like this. Oh my god. The first of those rooms, with the Medusa heads, was bad enough. Which is exactly why, I'm sure, they also put bats in this one. With Medusa heads. Very nice, very cool, Castlevania. side I can actually maybe try to kill this chest. Oh owie, chest does a lot of damage. Definitely not worth it. Oh right. Fisting, but you will not get caught this time. In fact, we'll probably just not even attempt to fight the second skeleton. Kick. I demand you kick. for me. Good for him to... That. 
and here we go. There's nothing else that really increases attack. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Let's see. Definitely not with ice. Maybe this? It does kill them in one hit. That worked for half of the room. Okay, so... Once we get through half of the room, I'm just gonna try to rush through. Should in theory work. Let me uh, make sure I actually have magnet on my electricity. And she wasn't facing the right way. Amazing. Why would she not just face the way that I'm moving? Wouldn't that make a lot of sense? Probably too much. Thankfully, yeah, I was I it was only one magnet jump away, so thankfully it shouldn't be too bad to get through there. Damage trying to do it. Oh, oh, my lord, controller, please. 
I will eventually need to find a better cord for this. It doesn't too often disconnect. I got the chest, somehow. I even got more hearts about it. Okay. No, I will take that. Oh my lord, what are you? Okay. We're fine. We're fine. The point is, we're through. Okay, okay, okay. We need to very carefully kill something in one of these rooms. Which is probably going to be these things in this room. Lizard man, that's fine. We will. Be very upset. -y. Okay. I need not hammer. I need... I'm just gonna eat the damn meat. Oh my lord, please let me pick it up. Okay, well, I'm sorry, shield, but I will never have you. risky and or dumb things, because we've got to save. That's fine. Look you know, I wonder if there's a hidden room there, just because that's a weird position to have a bone dragon. At least I would say it's a weird position of a bone dragon. I could be wrong. Because if you're just heading up, you can't do anything. Oh, I guess there is nothing here. Ow. Do I not have any antidote? I don't think I do. Oh well. They're just gonna have to be poisoned. Is there a teleport? Or saved by the teleport? Kind of. But I wouldn't say it's that close. Oh, I've already lost so much health that I might as well just take a quick dip back in the save pool. And then... Continue on my way. Oh, okay. Look at you and your fancy shield. Meanwhile, I'm going to leave. Thunder Demon, eh? Oh my lord. Genoa, please.
That is all I've wanted from life. Now, now is a very happy time. Although I question where I am. I guess we're just gonna keep on going up. Keep on going up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And it did, in fact, work. We are at the next area. So I guess these are gonna keep going. Oblivion Ridge. Okay. So that's how this is going to be. That's fine. Now that I know how it's going to be, I know how I'm going to be. Which makes it very appropriate for some place called Oblivion Ridge. Because... Oh my lord. There is so much. Okay, you know, we're fine. We made it through. No problem. Flawless. Almost flawless. That is a horrible, horrible stretch of existence. Oh my lord. I didn't see how much... I'd be surprised if there was a save that fast after there, but I also wouldn't be surprised if I was that close to saving after just running through what is essentially the most hellish stretch of existence I've seen. Okay, this time with a lot more health. But, we made it after one more attempt, so it's fine. And, uh, we already get a boss fight. How excellent. Hmm. Oh boy. Uh... Excuse me, sir. Brave Dorcas? Sorry, so is your name Grave Dorcas? Is that what I read correctly? Oh, this is not... This certainly is a fight. Yeah. 43% explored. A lot less farther in this game than I thought. But, we're getting through it. It is a fish, but it's not in water. What could it be weak against, I wonder? Could it be weak against one of the things I most recently got, perhaps?
Would you look at that? It could be. Well, that was a cool move. I think I will keep doing that. bad so far. I had this dumb idea where if I could jump far enough, maybe a vulture could push me enough that I'd land on there. But I see that's not going to happen. No sequence breaking for me. But I will be fish breaking in just a moment. why it lets me skip the sound effects. It just seems really weird and pointless. Nothing I have will solve this issue. I just will eat some rotten meat for no reason. Just to make sure that it doesn't help me. It didn't help me. Well, I cannot get poisoned because I have nothing to deal with the poison. That is very, very important. Really? You had to just appear right at the end there. How immensely less menacing this boss is when no sound plays. Oh, 
Oh, I was expecting him to shoot the urchins. That's really annoying. Oh, that is a really awful, awful move. And it even makes me do less damage. Get the last laugh. That I can assure you. Especially since fish can't laugh. Oh. Why? Literally right at the end. Oh my lord. I think the end endlessly spawning enemies are my least favorite feature in almost any game, but especially in this series. Like, it, it was fine in the 2D, like the real 2D games, just by the nature of how they were structured, but oh my lord do I hate it here. I was not nearly close enough. No. I really want to kill this guy. had about enough of you. I'm being too cautious because I don't want to get hit by the poison. I must be aggressive so I can destroy it. This fish being in the wrong biome.
Well, that aggressive miss did not serve me well. Also... You know... I know someone. Who said that exact thing in that exact same way. I don't know if it's from something, but... Just the be aggressive chant. It's just a minor thing, but it's also such a, a specific thing that I've heard from a friend. So I questioned for a moment if we knew each other before Twitch. Oh, that would explain it. Okay. I thought my friend invented that chant that they would always do it for Final Fantasy PvP. jump over that, because I'm not entirely sure how to dodge that otherwise, because there's no telling when he's actually gonna come out of the sand. Alright. Alright. We will definitely get this boss this time. Somewhat close to defeating him. Sure, though. And I was correct. So I will take that. 
He also says Shaw. He might also be related to Hornet. And with that... Oh, there's more? Okay, no, with that we're going to the save room. Now we will proceed. Though I do wish I had me some hearts. I wonder if the ice is good against other enemies, or if it's merely a fish. Okay, well, definitely not for you. Wow. Okay. This is... Fun room. Oh yeah. I've learned to save after any inch of progress in this game. I've also learned to run through enemies whenever and wherever possible. If it just looks too annoying to not do that. Which to be fair is in like most cases. See ya nerds. It's in strong magic behind that door. It's Dominus. There's also some rainbow blood. Oh, now it's black. Oh. Try to relax, Shinoa. No more interfering. What about those Dominus pieces? By the way, it's time to explain why I gave them to you. It's working. I feel it. But Barlow said you weren't able to bear glyphs, did you? You let me absorb the other two just to see how it's done. Ah, you see, I. It's happening. And now my wish will be Shinoa, I. What? This can't be. No, I've come too far. I will not be consumed. We'll settle this later, Shinoa. Wait, Elvis. Bad. Master Barlow will know what to do. Will he know what to do? That seemed like a very unexpected thing. Hermit Ring. Which will. Not good. Hold on. Getting the wrong button. It is. No, it, it's not good. Maybe if I wanted to only use magic damage, but I'm not doing that. Oh, well, now the unfortunate reality that I have to go back. I could use a ticket. But now I've already come this far. Eh. I've got five. Master Barlow. So if he truly is a master, why isn't he the one doing this? Like, surely that means he mastered, you know, being good at this game. So he hopes the final piece himself. To learn such devilry in such short time. I fear his genius may outstrip my own. 
We foolishly assumed that, it could that only you could serve as host for Dominus, and so we left him such an opening. Watch the way you took in those first two. Wait, those pieces still remain with us. That's correct. He wants them back, no doubt, if we pursue... What do we have? He has to be stopped, you said so yourself. Indeed, you have the right of it, I fear. The force of Dominus. Hello, hello. I was the mind. Poor Albus, even he could not resist Dracula's will. He can't come back to us, not anymore. Shinoa, free him from his misery. Yes, sir. His shell must lead beyond the graveyard. Go, for all the world's sake. Come back alive. Well, I will come back alive, but only if I get to die five times. At least. We must be close to the end of the game at this point. There's not even much room on the map for new areas. Hello, hello, and thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate it. Glad to have you here. I'm not glad to have whatever that is flying above me, though. So I'm probably just going to ignore it. Oh, that's who that is. Well, hello, welcome. <laughs> Oh dear. This, this is not good. I will continue to just ignore everything, though. Because that seems like the best strategy for this game. Oh hey, I remember you. From the other game. So, can you leave me alone? I've, I've got a plant that I've got to deal with. I've actually got two plants. Okay. I, I can ignore a lot of it, but I can't ignore that. Sadly. Sadly. So instead, we will... We will figure something out for the plant, but we will ignore everything up until that point. expert ignoring skills. Wait, is this the... Yeah, I think I need to actually kill this. Get away from me. So far, that was my only death, in this place. I died, like, several dozen in the Boner graveyard with all the skeletons. I'm not sure if you were watching at that point, though. That's fair. Very fair. We are just going to fight you normally. Now that's a nice enemy. Very easy. Oh, get off me, sir. That's not very nice. I don't have anything with which to heal, so we're just gonna not die. That, that would be the plan, anyway. Yeah, 
me just uh, walk through this junk on the floor. That man can move when his owl dies. Oh, come on. Do we really need whatever all this is? I thought I'd have a plan by the time I finished my sentence, but I didn't. So, we will figure out what we will do when we get back. so hard to avoid getting hit and it just really fucked me. You're fine. Okay. Yeah, take that, your bird sucks. Suffice to say, I do not like these plants. So... I think... I will have to find a different weapon with which to fight them. Honestly. But I don't know what would work. Call correctly from the last game because it also had those enemies. I can probably get a lot closer to them once they open up. Minus the whole, you know, night with owl part. spawn those little plants. I see now. So good. Very nice. 
Oh, those are mandragoras. I was thinking it might be because they were screaming, but I didn't want to comment and be incorrect. We influenced by watching Harry Potter again. Yeah, screw you, you're all dead again. It is true, I have lost track of time. I probably should. It has been like almost five hours of streaming. I probably should wrap it up once I get through this area. Although, Andy, how close am I to actually beating this game? That is also a good point. Oh dear. Why are there so many? Oh god! You just eat some salt to heal literally only two hit points. This is the never ending, the never ending hallway. Thank you for standing just far enough away for me to throw axes at you. It's very polite, sir. Well, that's the end of that stage. I am getting pretty good at running through stages. Now that we're not in the hell that is Boner Cave. Graveyard of the Great Skeleton Wars. And now we're here at Mad Monster Mansion. Oh, this is here. I must end this now with my own hands. No matter the cost. Okay. Just... I love when the first thing I see when entering a mansion is a guy with a chainsaw and a floating golden cow. I know it's technically a bull, but it's... Really. I'm not gonna bother to 100% this playthrough. Unless there's an ending difference, but I don't think there is. Just because I know, being a completionist, I will eventually try to do the level 1 hard mode. Which will make me hate life. I know, but... That, that is for future me to deal with. Current me just wants to run through this mansion. This isn't where the way to go. Open the chest! Definitely not worth it. Oh dear lord. Okay, so not that way.
I'm kind of. What, for 100%ing it? 100%ing it? Well, I also know there's like a different mode where you can play as Albus, so that probably is also some story stuff. Wow. Damn your gravity. I don't need money. But I want money. I wish I could just leave 2,000 gold pieces sitting around my house. golden bulls here. Wow. We'll see. Look at that. We're already to the save and the boss. How about that? Oh, it's Elvis. This is how it must be. Then let's end it now. The Dominus is mine, and I've waited long enough. End it over, Shinoa. This is why you betrayed our master. You trade your home, your life, just to be consumed by this darkness. What did you hope to gain? Answer me. Shinoa. What am I? Ah, no, Shinoa. Run. You have to get away from here. Now. Elvis? Run? Ha! What good would that do her? She cannot escape me. All of humanity is merely cattle. Led to slaughter at my behest. I, Lord Dracula. Give yourself a sustenance to me, weak, foolish human. That will be your honor. Even in this state, without any memory of the man you once were, I pity you. My duty to free you from this suffering, to ensure you don't meet such an end. Rest in peace, Albus. Oh yeah, I'm sure this will be that easy. Hey, I want the gun. Oh god, this is gonna be one of those boss fights. I knew it! I knew it. I called it, like, literally last game. We're gonna get to the point where Dracula just pulls out a gun and shoots the hero. Because we are in, like, the 19th century. And it's happened. And that is one hell of a gun. Literally just shoot her right in the face. Pro vampire. I just gotta not get shot. Oh. That simple. Just don't get shot by a gun. That's what I need to do, because he can just pull out that gun and shoot me. I definitely like the music, I just can't wait to hear more than 15 seconds of it.
somehow, it's always the boss fights against, like, humans that are always the most, like, difficult and or something. Now, if only Maria was here. The real, the real question in this situation is, where did he get a gun that is so advanced? Because he had it before he absorbed the Dominus. I saw it at the beginning of the game. It's not even just like a semi-automatic weapon, it's a super magical semi-automatic weapon. Oh, I hate that vertical shot. I feel Maria would, like, destroy everything without even trying. Well, thanks for that. Oh. oh, man. This would definitely be the game for it. I have easily died more in this Castlevania than any other. Like, probably combined, except maybe the American version of 3. Yeah, so long as I just wait... Well... I just need to wait for him to laugh... ...and use... ...other attacks. I meant to slide. A dream, a dream of one day owning that gun. That that is the true dream. The only way they can go from here is like, there's got to be a Castlevania set in World War II where Dracula's just got literal Nazis. How about we don't vertical shot? What about horizontal shot? And then even during World War II, the heroes would just still use lances and whips. is to just jump endlessly, apparently. Except that time. Please no more vertical shots, sir.
I did. Well, not when you immediately launch it, sir. I don't have anything I can use. Oh my lord. Wait, I'm still alive? Huh? How much health? Is oh my lord. Okay. That move, I don't have an answer for when he just shits it out of his ass right onto my face. She just got shot a little bit, it's fine. Almost. Listen, dude, I'm trying to kill you. Have a little patience here. a different move. For some reason, I'm a big dumb. I should not have gotten hit by that. At least I don't take damage from touching him. Cause that would that would just be too much. But I definitely think we got this. Milk. We've got milk. Yeah, that's all we need. And we've got a high tonic. Wait, the high tonic's not helpful. We've got milk, though. I will use the milk, and then we will win. When it's time to use it. Please, do something else. No more vertical shot. Yeah, that, that's what I want you to use.
isn't that bad, honestly. I, I it should have it with. Mm. I just had to very carefully pick when I attack, instead of trying to do a lot more damage. I think I can. Oh fuck. I hate that move. And he was in the corner, I couldn't jump over him. Time to drink milk. That only gives me like one. That won't be enough. Yeah, I don't have enough parts to keep doing that. He has a lot of health. I don't even know if the lance is technically the best weapon, but it seems to be. At least it's special. It's three times. Uh, I might be able to at this point. That's probably not a bad idea. But I would really like to buy his uh, heart items. I don't know if the shop has heart items. Let me... something well I can buy meat that is about all we need come back again now we just have to run back but that shouldn't be that bad excuse me go back to Texas Very surprising that such a final-ish area is actually so easy to run through, relative to every other area I've been in. I could, but I would prefer not to. Dumb 
Excuse me, sir. shitty healing items are at this point. Oh, I'm out of art. Yes, but I don't want to. shot makes me want to hang vertically from the ceiling. I cannot believe how much health this guy has. I mean, I know he's like the final-ish boss, but... Well, he's not going to be the actual final boss, surely. But he's damn close. Try something else once I run out of parts. Oh, yes, please keep moving that. Use, use that move, sir. Endlessly, please. No more vertical shots. This might... Mm, this is probably not gonna do a lot of damage, but I can at least use it while I'm jumping. Oh wow. Probably not worth it. What do, what do we got? What do we got? We got this. I don't think the rapier is faster than the lance by enough of a margin for me to use that. But I think I'll just stick with the lance. He surely gotta be close. Like, if I do it properly, I hit him for what, like, 213 damage every time with the lance power. Get away from the wall!
He just sort of stopped shooting me. Use your gun some more. You know the the, the, the easy gun move. That that'd be ideal, sir. Instead of what whatever you're doing right now, it's not even coming close to, to hitting me. Oh. So painfully, painfully close. I'm assuming I can't actually see his health, but he can't possibly have much more than what I was at. do a lot more attacking him if Chinoa didn't so gracefully cancel her damn attack animation after jumping. Another just pet peeve I have with this game. Like, I can't actually attack him when I jump over him until I land. hope that he doesn't shoot me immediately if I try to hit him. Don't know how I dodged that, but I'll take it. No more ha. No more, huh? 
I do not like her. Please, sir. Jesus. This will complete Dominus. The power that corrupted Albus and consumed him. Can this cursed power truly be used to vanquish Elu? I'll turn the final piece to Barlow. Our mission is complete. I don't think so. Oh boy, I hope that it lets me save before whatever comes next. Done, sir. I retrieved Dominus. And Albus, did he yield or did he... It... Too late. Sorry. Fortunate, but it cannot be helped. He wanted just the same as both of us. Perhaps he simply wanted it too much. Still, there is a way to honor him. Use Dominus and see the mission through. Would Albus want it that way? Time has come. To the Forbidden Room. Take all three pieces, bind them to yourself. Upon the vessel, cast the Union. So the world's greatest hope will rise. Theseus' wish, the wish of all mankind. Now go, Shinoa. You'll be the one, our world's savior. I'm here for you, Shinoa. Do not fear. But I want to save. Last one I had. I'm assuming. Oh, do I equip all of them? Maybe. This is not a good idea. Ah! That just killed me. What in the world? That not what he said to do. So, the instructions were not quite clear on what I was supposed to do, but that clearly was not it. Okay, well, I'm not playing around this time, Albus.
I, I'm, I'm done with his games. Fucking lord. So, while I kill him one more time, what was I supposed to do at that part immediately preceding this, Mr. Andy? Because the game was so not helpful in telling me what it was actually supposed to do. That, that is very fair. <laughs> I can definitely understand. Definitely dodge it when you do that. If it'll let me, once I kill him, I will try to go back into the previous room and save. Oh, 
I'm not really irritated by the fight itself. Because I've dealt with way worse. But the whole having to do it again for no reason is kind of moderately irritating. are going to eat a lot of meat after this fight. Hopefully we won't... Hopefully we won't need to use any during the fight. Flashing purple, and everyone knows purple means don't attack. So, just need a minute to be cured of purple. of purple. We are going to find out this time. This is the time that we get back and we don't let the game confuse me into literally dying for no reason. That move, in particular. Only because he can also just shoot immediately. Thank you. 
my lord. I need to approach that slightly differently, perhaps. Oh, not that differently. There's no telling if he's gonna do the stupid, yeah, that move. Because jumping is the only consistent way to dodge a lot of the bullets, but that pick move is really annoying. anything at all. Okay. Now we're back to where we need to be. Yes, I get it. You're sad. He's dead. Boohoo. Oh my lord. It should be, like... Well, I, I was gonna say, it should be game design 101 that you, like, put a save immediately after a boss fight. 
but to be fair, by the time this game came out, like 2008, it was game design 1 and 101 to have auto saves and checkpoints for many reasons. But, you know. I like just shoot the old man because I'm really sick of him. I have a bow at least. But why didn't I take his gun? Yeah, I, I would like to not do this. Yeah. Here's what we're going to do. I think I know maybe what I have to do, but there's no way I could have done it before because I had no health, if it is what I think I have to do. But again, that wouldn't make sense because it basically says fuck you if you don't have health. Um... Not that I can see, which is the only problem. Try equipping all of it first. Well, a for reference, I did, but I want to do it even a third time. I used the magical powers of my custom Nintendo DS game console to make a save state so the game can't fuck me because it doesn't tell me what the hell to do. Yeah, it's not just use everything, apparently, which makes no sense, but I have all the stuff. Oh, I forgot I equipped those things that do nothing. Maybe with them all equipped? Yes, you, you say that, sir. But what, what, what task? Oh. Maybe I do the up move? Now is the time of your okay. It, it was the, it was the combination move. Yes. Oh, I, I'm fading. It's so dark. Joy Shinoa. Sacrifice the wishes of mankind will all come true. Who are those random people? Are those just random people? What do you mean, game over? So it will literally it won't let you beat the game until you rescue the people. Okay, well, that 
unfortunately is not going to happen tonight. That will be a potentially tomorrow thing. I close tomorrow, so I'll have to see, but... Oh. I still think they should have, like, had the old man just literally say, use the power of all three at once or something. Or use the combination power, or just something. But overall, I, um... Minus one or two quirks with his moveset, I definitely didn't have a problem with that boss. He was a decent boss. And one or two quirks with his moveset. So. Next time I stream, which will probably be tomorrow after midnight, if I'm up to it. Since we are pretty close to beating the game. And then I can have my day off the following day to stream new game. We will rescue four people, beat him, and depending on how long that takes, maybe I'll do the boss rush. Let me take a quick look at the boss rush, because I'm not sure if the boss rush is affected by your difficulty. It definitely is. So it would be me at my current level. No, at level 50. Well, then I don't know. What do you mean this item? I want to go back to the main menu. How about that item? Well, regardless. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. But definitely, the game is getting finished tomorrow, considering how close I am. 100%ing it will be a much distant future thing, because I have... Many other games that I actually enjoy more thoroughly that I would rather 100% first, if I do that. Well, which I will eventually do that, but, you know, I have a gaming backlog that just keeps expanding. So, I'm a bit more picky with my upfront completion. Regardless, before I keep rambling too much, I want to thank everyone who stopped by. Hope you enjoyed my journey of far too many deaths, but eventually success. Kind of. I was definitely right, the old man is evil, and he will die tomorrow, likely. I will wait some time tomorrow to solidify whether I'm streaming and when, and we will be at it. You have a wonderful rest of your night, all of you, and as always, I'll catch you next time.